We're in the midst of a real crisis of leadership in this country. We can see it most prevalently if we look down Pennsylvania Avenue at either end, the halls of Congress or the present administration. I think there are three causes right now of this crisis. One is that people have been, until very recently, been relatively distracted from politics and distracted from thinking about leadership in a focused way. We have all kinds of things to distract us, and we have felt relatively disenfranchised from the political process. A second related issue is that many of us became quite disillusioned with the political process and, in many, many instances, with how business at large levels works. And that combination of people being disillusioned, married to being distracted, meant that all kinds of people in positions of power didn't have to think very much about who they were beholden to or what the costs of acting as less than very strong, very decent fiduciaries for all kinds of their stakeholders were. And the third issue was that in the wake of the financial crisis of 2008, when hundreds of millions of people lost a great deal some of the individuals that were responsible, and we know something about this, for that crisis were never held accountable. They didn't choose to own the responsibility that went with the power. They didn't choose to own any of the blame that was rightfully theirs in certain aspects of this crisis, and no one really called them to account. So again, think about it. Distraction, disillusionment, and leaders that not only in government, but also in business, refused to accept the responsibility that goes with their authority, that's a very toxic combination. And it's created a crisis of leadership today.